Ah, oh, hell yeah! Got my Nintendo Switch, the new Zelda Fantasy 15 Open World Edition, and the controller that costs more than the entire game that I'm playing right now. Fuck you, Nintendo! Now, I know next to nothing about Breath of the Wild. I think it's about a guy who eats dirt and grass and doesn't brush his teeth that much or something. I don't really know, but it's the hot new game right now. Everyone wants to play it, so let's cut the mundane intro bullshit and hop right into The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, oh, oh no. Overwrite previous save? I'm sorry, you're telling me I can't have multiple save files in this game? Something that we've been doing since the fucking NES? Fuck you, Nintendo! Boy, oh boy, just take a look at those particle effects. It's like someone smeared Vaseline all over the camera lens. Very immersive, Nintendo. Who is this cute little lesbian, and how tight is her pussy? So you know how in every Zelda game you get a companion that helps you out along your journey? Like, you know, Navi, Midna, Fee, etc, etc. Well, in this one, you get a fucking iPhone. Goddamn brilliant. Oh, why don't you play as Naked Link, Ouija? It'd be really funny because he doesn't have any clothes on, haha. -ha. Because unlike the majority of my audience, I am not a small child. Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Yeah, whoever said there needs to be voice acting in a Zelda game needs to be euthanized, by the way. Oh my god, guys! Check it out! Whoa! Damn! I've never seen anything like it! Look at all of that texture-compressed Play-Doh! I'm absolutely amazed! 10 out of 10! Ooh, check it out, a torch! Nice! Well then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how, may I ask, are you planning to use it? I've got a lot of angst, and I'm gonna burn this place to the motherfucking ground! Oh, hell yeah, something we can use as an actual weapon. Nice. Oh, Jesus Christ, game, come on! More like frame rate of the wild. Am I right, or am I right? Check out this Jag over here. He's really, uh... <laughs> He's really struggling, isn't he? All right, now watch this. Are you ready? Tree branch toss, bitch! <laughs> this game's cool, dude. And now we experience the true power of open world gaming. Walking in a straight line from one point to another with nothing standing in our way. That is definitely the Zelda game that I signed up for. Holy shit! It's Bloomin! Oh, I take it all back! You know, as fun as the ragdoll physics in this game are, and they are really fun, killing enemies becomes really fucking annoying when every single attack sends them flying ten feet backwards. Huh. Check it out. It looks like I can put my iPhone inside of this rock thing. I wonder what it'll do. And then Link was crushed to death by giant falling rocks. The end. Distilling local information. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I don't need your help. I already got Google Maps installed, dummy. Yo, did this tower just come on my phone? Oh my god, you guys! Just take a look at this beautiful, sprawling landscape! So much love and detail has been poured into every... into... every... I... Uh, Jesus fucking Christ, God Almighty Nintendo! Why are you making it so hard to enjoy your fucking video game?! Um... So is this just the entire game now? Um... It took them six years to make this game. Please die already, Nintendo. 
All right, it fixed itself. So Santa Claus promised to give us a paraglider if we go spelunk a couple of dungeons for him. I would love to walk off into the open world to explore and create a journey of my own, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that the paraglider, along with the items we'll be getting from these dungeons, are probably going to be pretty fucking essential to the game as a whole, so for the time being, we are kind of at his mercy. Pop quiz, what's the first thing you do when you see a rock? You guessed it. Put your iPhone under it and let it give you cummies. That's right, rock cummies. This rock's cummies gives us an app that turns our phone into a magnet. It's pretty cool, actually. Hmm, now this, this is a puzzle right here. What to do? Uh, what if we take our magnet and... I'm a goddamn genius. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Ew. I'm sorry, this is the treasure man? This old ass, disgusting, rotting corpse zombie monk? I don't want to touch anything this weirdo gives me. Oh, hey, a spirit orb. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate it. Jesus Christ, I seriously cannot deal with this goddamn frame rate. I'm going to go fucking insane. Oh, I'm sorry, what is this now? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, no, good, great, good, fantastic timing. I'm so happy right now. Okay, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe. Now we gotta book it the hell out of here. Come on, stay away from me, you Spartan laser-wielding asshole. Joke him, Link! Jesus fucking Christ! Come on, Link, you gotta go! You gotta go! Okay, I think we're safe. This is a scary game. Oh, hey, look at this! There's a chest up here. I'm not sure why it's up on this wall, but I'm not one to turn down free stuff, so let's see what we get. What the f- what? Why is this in the game? All right, rock number two. Let me slide my phone deep inside of you to get some of those good, good rock cummies. This rock's cummies gives us an app that lets us pull bombs out of our iPhone. Cool. You know, I understand. You want to have an easy puzzle for the item that the players just obtained, but there's a difference between an easy puzzle and having the solution to a puzzle 10 goddamn feet away from it. Blah, 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 I'm also old and creepy and your frame rate will never not be shit. Haha, ha, this is the power of Nintendo. Here's Spirit Orb number two, Dumbo. Only two more to go. I've been sitting here trying to bomb this asshole for like five minutes straight and, uh... Let's just say that these fuckers are pretty resilient. Ah, uh, yes. What an exciting day of adventuring. Now it's time to sleep out on the cold, hard dirt for some much-needed R&R. Oh boy, what a good night's sleep that was. Now I'm all fresh and ready to climb over a hundred feet of straight, flat, mossy mountain. No problem at all! Now Link is known for being a master sword fighter and all that jazz, but are you seeing this absolute fucking madman climb right now? I didn't know that this iteration of Link was actually Spider-Man the whole time! Ah, uh, yes, another rock, another heaping dosage of rock cummies. That's what I like to see, game. Thank you very much. All right, I, I think you guys are really going to like this upgrade right here. Check this out, check this out. <clears throat> the world, Tokyo Tomare! <laughs> Go ahead and aura, aura, aura that motherfucking like button if you get the reference. Ah, I'm gay. Here's a thing. Now hurry up and go get the last one so you can get out of the tutorial area, you idiot. Ooh, we got some dumb, dumb gro groblins over here with a bunch of explosive barrels. Now, I'm sorry, but these fucking dickheads are just asking for it. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do this and boom. <laughs> This game is so fucking rad. 
So apparently if I don't carry this lit torch with me at all times, I'll freeze to death in a matter of seconds, which is something I'm not too keen on doing. Problem is, if you start sprinting or fighting, your torch goes out immediately. I fully understand why they did this, but just like all of my weapons breaking only after a couple of swings, it ain't fun or challenging. It's fucking tedious, Nintendo. Huh. Now, I'm no ecologist or anything, but a dry, hot desert canyon only a couple hundred feet away from a tundra? Something about that just doesn't seem right. Oh boy, this is no ordinary rock cummies. This is fucked up frame rate rock cummies. <sighs> you know, I really want to enjoy this game, but it is making me work for it. So this app lets me create ice on top of water, like so. Yeah, okay, that's neat. Game, don't you fucking piano riff at me. What I did was not that impressive. I don't need to be patronized, okay? You know, I gotta be honest, this is probably my favorite item that we have so far, actually. It seems like the type of thing that has a lot of application both inside of dungeons and out in the open world. I guess you could say that it's, uh, Pretty cool. Good job, Link. You've got all of the rock cummies and completed all of the trials. Now go take this thing and fuck off back to the old man. Never talk to me again, asshole. Whew, there. All done. Now can we please... Oh? Ho? Santa Claus? <gasps> Santa Claus! Whoa! Fancy meeting you here! Oh. He only mysteriously appeared to tell us to meet him at the Temple of Time. Don't see why we can't just talk here, but... Okay, if you say so. Alright, dickhead, you're making me climb up a church just to talk to you, for Christ's sake. You better have something really important to tell me. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. It took him 10 fucking minutes to tell me that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we finally did it. After about an hour of running around and collecting rock cummies from ancient tombs far and wide, the tutorial is over, we have our paraglider, and the world has become our oyster. Now then, let us go boldly out into this world, see what secrets it has in store, and become the hero that we're destined to be! Set sail for adventure! Oh, wait, how to use the paraglider? Oh, shit, oh, fuck! On second thought, I think that's enough Breath of the Wild for right now.